Hi, my name is Hal Gummert with Camp Software, and I'd like to show you HTML PDFer. Uh, HTML PDFer simply converts HTML reports into PDF reports. Let's get right into the demo. So when you download um, the project, you'll get a folder. Inside the folder, there's a data folder, and that um, has the sample form, which you'll see in a second. Inside htdocs is where the conversions happen in this folder. And then we have the Zojo project, um, which is named HTML PDFer. And then I like to have the version of Zojo we use. This is 2017 R3. Um, and then it's using Allo Express. And I like to include the version for that as well, one, version 1.2.0. Um, and then this is left over from a prior run. That's just because we ran the project. Um, that'll get created as soon as we run the project. Then we have a FileMaker file to show how to use HTML PDF for, uh, with FileMaker. First, we'll show it for the web. And then there's a folder for logs, which isn't being populated yet. So we'll go ahead and open up the project. This is our project. I don't really want to get into all this right now. I just want to show how it works. So I'm going to run the project. So right now it's taking the Zojo project, which you can download um, for free off of Zojo's website and run it um, until you're ready to actually make an app. Uh, the project ran. Um, this is a Zojo console app. So it runs in, I'm running on Mac OS, so it's running within terminal. And then I had it automatically open a web page, which is where the app is residing on my laptop. And here's the form that I mentioned. So when you, when you download it, you can modify the form and do whatever you wish. So the way it works is we're essentially going to do an HTML post to the web app, which is running in terminal right now. So uh, it's got an e the email address. This is all hard coded, so you can go into the code and change the email address and what key is allowed. And then you pass in um, what you want the PDF to be named as when you get it back. Uh, the parameters are to do uh, various settings for like headers and footers and su stuff like that. We're telling it to produce us a PDF that is a letter. It's a 300 DPI. It's going to add a header in the center called my document title. And the header uh, font name is Arial and it's going to be eight point. And then at the, on the footer, on the left, we'll see 326 2018. And on the right, we'll see page whatever of whatever. And then it'll include a footer line, just a line above the footer. And then that footer will also be an Arial 8 point. Then we have some HTML. So this is the actual HTML that we're going to convert. It's really simple. Uh, the key points here are is this bit of CSS part of the style. So what this is doing is it's defining that any tags, any um, HTML tags um, called section and any TRs, which are table rows, are to avoid page breaking within those tags. And at important was added just in, just in case to try to help it. So I'm going to scroll back down. There we go. So right here you can see a section. So what this is doing is saying, hey, for this um, H1 tag, big giant text, and this paragraph, don't break. Try to keep it together. And same thing here. It tries to keep this paragraph together, this section together, this section together, all the way down. And then eventually we'll get to an HTML table. Here we go. And then what it tries to do is keep the rows together. So uh, like a particular row won't break across the page. So let's just go ahead and hit it. We're gonna hit HTML to PDF. And what it's doing now is it's sending all this data via HTML post to the web app that's running. And then it's using um, WK HTML to PDF to convert that HTML into a PDF and then return it to us just like you saw. Here's the header center that we talked about. And if we scroll down, we can see our footer line, which is this line that goes all the way across. Here's our text in the bottom left of the footer and the page whatever to whatever. So there's one to five, two to five, and such. So you can see that um, it, we, 
didn't break this to a new page because of course it fit. But if I go down a little bit further, we can see this paragraph ended up landing just about perfectly. And then this next section started up. So we'll scroll down a little more. Now this one was even closer to the line. Here we can see there was a bit of a gap. So there was a little bit of room that it might have could have fit. And But when we go a little further down to page three, I scrolled a little quick there, there's even more space. But since we added the um, page break inside, avoid, it actually didn't put this header in this space, which could have easily fit, but the text wouldn't have fit. And then if we go down further, we'll see the, um, the HTML table starts, and then it realized there wasn't enough room for the next item, so it dropped it to the next page, and then it just goes on. So that's really all there is to it. Um, you take your, actually go back a page, you build your HTML and uh, have it spit out to a uh, to whatever you want it to be. So I'm going to take a risk here and just do something crazy. I'm going to do HTML table. Um, this is something I did the other day, and um, I grabbed a little sample code from W3 Schools, and they had this nice, pretty. Um, HTML table. So I'm going to hit uh, try it yourself so I can see their code. And they just have an HTML table here. So I'm going to grab their style. So they have a nice little style for tables. So I'm going to copy that, we'll close that, close that, and then come back to our HTML here. I'm going to leave all this stuff here. And I'm just going to paste in that CSS, this stuff here. Now, I don't want to mess with the font. I don't care about border collapsing. I don't care about... Well, let's leave it in. I take it back. We're going to put all that back in. So we'll leave that there. And then we'll just hit convert. So on the fly, I just changed the HTML. So now when we run this report, it's sending it over to the app. The app is processing it and converting it with WK HTML to PDF, and if I scroll down, we'll see something different. There's our HTML table. So just like that, it can format what it almost, I haven't tested everything, but it does a really good job at formatting data so that it fits nicely. Here you can see that this HTML table row is, you know, so high. And there wasn't enough quite room to fit it there. And if we scroll a little further, well, it didn't fit. It only went to two pages. Uh, but here you can see again, this, this one section could have fit, but since we told it to not break, um, it didn't. It went to the next page. So I almost forgot to show off the uh, FileMaker project. So we're going to hide a browser, hide Zoja. The app's still running in the background, and we're going to open up the FileMaker file. And this still has the original um, HTML. So we're going to go ahead and just run this by hitting Convert. So it's going from the FileMaker file out to the Zojo app, which is the web browser. It's posting this data and it came back here with the file. So if we scroll through it, you'll see that it's the same, you know, the text was really close to the line. Here we had a gap and here's the old HTML table. So we'll go into this CSS and paste in uh, that new HTML and hit convert. And it's sending all that same data over to the web app and coming back with the app. And if we scroll, here's our new HTML table. We have the same little gap and then the same gap here where that did not fit. So um, that is that. That's how it works. Um, go to our website, see if you like it. Um, we talk about the, uh, the page break inside avoid um, CSS and describe all the parts you know that it needs. It requires Zojo, which you can use for free until you're ready to actually build your app to deploy it. It uses Allo Express from Team Tim Dietrich, which is amazing. Um, we're using it now to convert most of our FileMaker projects to Zojo web apps. And it uses WK HTML to PDF, which is a command line tool which you can install. We include some instructions on how to install, 
how to run it in your browser like we just showed and how to run it in um, FileMaker. Uh, this video will be posted here and you can download it. Um, HTML PDF is free. So download it, try it out, and let us know what you think. If you have any questions, um, just click ask a question and then uh, we'll get a notification and we'll try to answer it. And if it makes sense, we'll uh, put your question here. So anyway, have a great day. Thanks.